Do you wish you got more likes? Do you wish you had more followers? <laughs> Well, I'm here to help you to give y'all some tea and tips and tricks on how to make your Instagram pictures look bomb. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Annette here and today I'm literally about to give y'all all the tea on how to get your Instagram pictures to look bomb, okay? Okay. First off, I just want to say thank you to all my supporters for showing love. We literally made it to 400 subs. Like that's crazy. I know it's not that much right now, but we're literally almost, we're literally almost halfway to 1k. Like that's insane. Like gosh thank you guys so much if you're not already subscribed make sure you go down below and click that button so if you're new here hi my name is Annette if you're returning welcome back and let's just get right into this video okay so I have my handy dandy little notebook over here I'm about to read y'all all the tips that I wrote down earlier I think I have like five or six tips but I also have like a little bit of like extra extra info that you guys can use so yeah tip number uno lighting Lighting is literally an essential. Like that's the foundation of your picture. If your lighting isn't there, your picture isn't gonna be there, honey. We want to see the details. We want to see the quality. Like you you literally can't be out here taking pictures in the dark. <laughs> like, how are they gonna see you? You can either go for natural lighting or artificial lighting. Like what I'm using right now, I'm using my ring light because it's obviously too dark in my house. Usually I aim for natural lighting. I don't know, I just love how it looks on my skin, especially around golden hour. Let me tell y'all, golden hour will literally have your skin glowing. Like if you're wearing some bomb outfit with a bunch of color, a bright red outfit, bright green outfit, like it'll literally bring out your skin and everything and you'll look good especially if you have some lip gloss on lip gloss golden hour will literally bring out like everything your highlight will be popping your lip gloss will be really another essential like your pictures will turn out great the sun will literally bring out all your features like it'll get you right like your skin will look amazing thank me later trust me so also if you're interested in using a ring light what i'm using i think it works perfectly fine if it's too dark outside or let's say you were getting ready and you took too long and it gets dark outside you can't really use that lighting so i would use my ring light so the ring light i got comes with this little like camera clicky thing and you can literally take pictures like so so easily without having to like press the button constantly so this comes in handy with taking pictures I definitely recommend getting a ring light because when the Sun goes down or you just don't have the best lighting in your house or like literally anywhere you can just use your ring light tip number two quality quality matters like this is apart from lighting like your quality is really big for your picture people like seeing details people like seeing colors the tiny tiny details in like a purse or like a headband or your earrings like people love pictures that pop okay they don't want to be looking at some fuzzy picture you took with your iphone 4 cracked camera <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry to the Android users. It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't come for me in the comments, I'm kidding. I say iPhone 6 and up will do you justice. Anything below that, you might be with the Android users. I definitely recommend either using a newer phone or a um, camera to take your pictures. If you take your pictures with a professional camera, you can go and edit it afterwards. So yeah, make sure the quality of your picture is nice because you don't want to be out here posting just anything. People love quality pictures. That's how you get your likes. Tip number three, background and location. I cannot stress this enough. The background of your picture also matters. You can't be taking pictures in your messy room with a bunch of trash on the floor. No, no, because then people are going to think you're messy. Like <laughs> The background of your picture should be like nice, even simple maybe. Like it doesn't really matter what the background is. It just has to look nice. I typically like to go for more simple backgrounds because I feel like you cannot mess up with a simple background. Like I feel like with simple backgrounds, people can really focus on the main thing of the picture, which is you. Like people can focus on your facial features features your body you know all that good stuff also try and go for locations that are different or nice people like different so if they see a location that they haven't seen before they're gonna be like oh wow where is that i want to take pictures over there if you 
want to spice up the picture a little bit instead of taking a picture like on a simple wall like i would normally do you can literally um drive around go downtown wherever you live or like a park or something get a nice scenery to like help your picture okay tip number four is contrast and color i feel like this is really 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 important for a picture everyone loves pictures with color i know i love pictures that pop i like seeing your skin glowing if you're really chocolate i want to see all that chocolate a lot of people may not agree with this but i feel like this really catches the eye of whoever's looking at your picture like, this can also go for what you're wearing if you're wearing this bright outfit like it's going to pop and it's going to make the picture stand out in my most recent post on instagram i'm wearing this bright yellow top and it literally brought out my skin like literally glowing in the picture like if you wear bright colors like that i feel like it gives a helping hand to your pictures it makes them just look better also try to go for clothing that brings out your skin tone or your hair don't really wear clothes that wash you out so tip number five is posing i feel like posing is really important because some people are out here looking crazy like your poses can make or break your picture i think it's really trial and error for this like you really have to see which angle your face looks good which angle your body looks good what's your good side what's your bad side i normally tend to show my right side because that is my better side and my butt's a little big on the right so yeah you like trial and error but once you find what works for you you're literally gonna be more comfortable in front of the camera or even like say you're doing a photo shoot like you'll be more com comfortable doing that too if you practice your poke i'm just done speaking english for the rest of my life because it's like what once you know what poses you like or like what looks good on you you're gonna be more comfortable in front of the camera and also like say you don't really like when people watch you when you're taking pictures like you're gonna be more comfortable because you know what looks good on you you're not out here looking silly so tip number six is be yourself literally be yourself like you don't want to give anyone a different perception of you or like the fake you don't do things for other people like do it for yourself pose how you want to pose wear what you want to wear but make sure you're being yourself what you post on instagram is how people view you and how they get like a like a sense of how you are because you know on instagram you know a lot of people but there's also people that you've never met before so if you're out here posing like someone else that's how they're gonna think you are if you're out here wearing something that you would not wear in person like you get what i'm saying like it's just not it's not it here's a few extra tips just because like i just randomly wrote them down this kind of goes along with background and location i feel like um, if you're trying to go for a certain aesthetic you should go for a certain background or like if you're trying to make your feed look a certain way like you want all green backgrounds or you want like nature backgrounds or say you want all simple wall backgrounds say you want i don't know just say you want like specific look for your feed i say go for that so it looks more clean or like i don't know it like fits you Other tip would be getting all dolled up and this doesn't mean wear makeup or like really do your hair just look presentable i guess but for me i feel more confident in front of the camera when i'm wearing makeup and when my hair is done so i prefer to take pictures like this it's really whatever you prefer but i feel like once your hair is laid your makeup's done you got the lip gloss on the highlight popping like your pictures are going to be bomb because you feel bomb i feel like most of the influencers i see today always have their hair laid always have their face beat like their outfit is a 10 like like they're a 10. Okay, so that's about it that I have for this video. Those are all the tips and tricks that I wrote down in my journal. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!